Dr. Elephant, recently appointed Minister of Science, has just returned from the United States. The new minister will meet the press for the first time. Hey! You! You there! Get out of the way! How dare you shout at me! Mm. <laughs> Dr. Elephant, how do you feel about the Declaration of Equal Rights for Robots? Just what does it mean exactly? Well, Wolves, you guys don't know that. Now, look, robots have characters and personality. That means that robots and humans should have the same equal rights. Right, Dr. Elephant? Uh, yes, that's about right. Well, satisfied. Well, you sure have a way with words. <laughs> well, sorry, I talked out of turn. <laughs> oh, by the way, Astro, in case you're wondering, this is my old friend, Daddy Walrus. Daddy Walrus? That's a strange name. My real name is Albert Duncan. I'm a teacher at primary school, but sometimes I'm a private eye or a judo expert, or sometimes a flower arranger. But my real identity is... Albert Duncan, Daddy Walrus. That's right, my friend. <laughs> I came today for a very specific reason. It's about Astro schooling, isn't it? Right. It says in the robot's declaration that a robot is entitled to the same education as humans. I've seen a school somewhere. That's where lots of kids play together and study. That's right, Astro. It's a place for kids to play together and study. But the most important thing for you is to make friends. Friends? Four, including me. I got three of them. What about you, Sam? Uh, five. Including me, that's 14. Yeah, 13. Hmm. Well, then, I guess I'll have to use it. Use what? Well, just wait till you hear my speech. <laughs> oh, here comes the teacher. Oh, oh, oh. Now, kids, I'm going to introduce a new boy. This is Astro. He's going to join this class. Hello. He's a robot. He's a That's right. Astro's a robot. You know the robots can go to school now. Hey. I don't want to study with no robot. Why not? You have no reason. Astro, take your seat. Yes, sir. Hi. Now, as I was saying yesterday, since this is the beginning of the new term, we have to elect the class president. What's a president? Well, that's the class boss, you know, the class leader. Well, you kids take care of it. Quiet! Before we vote, we have to have the campaign speeches. Kenneth will go first, then it's Alvin's turn. I'd like you all to know that if I am elected class president, I promise to get rid of all the violence here at school. When was I violent? I never been violent. I never mentioned your name at all. Who are you? <gasps> well, er... <laughs> and I'll start a baseball club and soccer team and try to get everyone to become good friends. Mm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey! You know, wait a minute. If I am elected, I'll make the lunch hour last from 9 till noon. Yay! Yay! Hello! No, I'm just kidding. But when I am elected, I'll personally invite all of you to the amusement park my dad's building right now. Hooray for Alban! Hooray, hooray, hooray! Well, now for the election.
Christian. I don't know. Come on, for Albert. I know. Oh, come on, Come on. Those in favor of Kenneth, press the green button, and those voting for Alvin, press the red. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, that's oh, the oh, way. Come on, Kenneth, that's oh, it. Yes. Come on, Kenneth. Oh, yeah, Kenneth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I don't believe it. A stupid tie. Wait a minute. There are 31 of us. It's 15 to 15. There's someone who hasn't voted yet. Who is it? It's Astro. He hasn't voted yet. Come on, Astro. You have to choose one. Hmm. Oh, oh, no! no. You little runt, how dare you go and vote for him? I didn't do something wrong, did I? What do you mean? Of course you did. I couldn't become class president all because of you and your one stupid vote. All I looked forward to was becoming president. Then they would have called me President Alvin. No, I'm nothing. I like your speech. I thought it was a good speech, but I like Kenneth's speech a whole lot better. <laughs> Hey, stop it! Sure, just because he gave you the vote, now you're sticking up for him. I don't like this whole idea of robots coming to our school. None of us do. Schools are for humans. So go away! Get out! Yeah, yeah, yeah get go out. away! Anyway. Remember go. what the teacher said. We've got to be good friends. I'll teach you to talk like that, you little squirt. Get him, Alvin, get him. Teacher's coming, huh? teacher's coming! Run for it! Where's the teacher? I was lying. What do you think? <laughs> Astro, this is the biological specimen room. This is the wolf which died out over a hundred years ago. Now just press that button. Great, huh? This is the holograph. Like real, huh? But where are the robot's bones? They don't need any. <laughs> When you've finished, you flush it. See? Just like this. What do you mean when you're finished? Hey, Mindy, come on over here. This is fun. But that's the boys' lavatory. Here I go, Astro. You can't use your hands. All right, then. There. Oh, no. Oh, no. We're all in for Just it. Just look what you've done. Now the teacher is really going to be mad. Well, I'll go get it. This is still under construction. So we better not get caught. Can we get on? Sure. All you have to do is vote for me tomorrow. What, another vote? You mean we're gonna have another election? Yeah, but this time we're gonna vote without the robot. <laughs> Mom's seeing to it right now. You know I wouldn't be here unless it was something serious. I've come to give you some advice. Advice, is it? I want that robot out of the class, and I want you to hold another election. Do you understand? I refuse to do anything of the kind. Kenneth was the winner. The election was fair and final. Well, may I remind you who donated the gymnasium to the school? Uh -huh. hmm? And, oh, yes, uh -huh. half the new library. That's in case you forgot. Uh -huh. uh, now, Mr. Duncan, can't you do something about this? You can take your gymnasium back for all I care. Well... Just one 
more thing. Oh. We humans were the ones who made the robots. Obviously, they are inferior and shouldn't be allowed to vote. They're not human and shouldn't have human rights. What? This is an outrage, you hysterical old battle axe! Oh, what did you say? You know very well what I said. I can never forgive you for hurting such a poor, innocent boy. Uh, uh, Astro, please leave us. Okay. Why, oh, you? You don't have oh. the least idea how Astro feels. You've got all the feelings of an old oh. shoe. You come in here and start throwing your weight around, but you're ignorant. Do you hear me? Ignorant! We don't need robots. Robots don't belong with us at school. Go away. Go away. Look, the rocket coaster. The best ride here. Wow! But does it do somersaults? Sure it does. Look over there. Huh? No rails. Yeah, he's right. We can't ride on that. Don't worry. I know how this works. The coaster's protected by magnetic field. Let's go. Get on. Fasten seatbelts. Let's go. Hang on. Here we go. Oh, great. I'm so busy, there's so much to do. Well... Oh, Astro, I'm glad you're here. Well, you must tell me all about it. How was school? Well, are mothers supposed to be scary? What? That's a strange question for you to ask. They're not supposed to be, but some are. <laughs> Not even for a pack of wild... What? Oh, look who's talking, you old monster. I don't care what you uh, think. Well, I'll have you fired, you... Huh? huh? Uh, Alvin and some of his friends are in trouble? Huh? Get me out of here! Oh, get me out of here! Oh, my boy, I hope he's all right. be his father. Please, tell me, how did all this happen? The transformer is malfunctioning, and consequently the machine's been overpowered, I'm afraid. And unfortunately, the instruments show it getting worse by the minute. So what does it mean? What's going to happen? 
And if the rocket coaster keeps going at this rate, the energy will be condensed in the magnetic field, and then in a matter of nine minutes, the whole thing is gonna blow up. What? Blow up? Now look, Astro. Mothers give birth to babies and raise them. They may scold the children only because they love them. It's just like your father. He didn't always like what you did, but he loved you anyway. Oh, Daddy Warris. Thanks for taking care of... Uh... Huh? All right. Uh, I'll send the robot rescue squad right away. Dr. Elephant. The robots are headed into the magnetic field. Running out of time. I don't know what else we can do. Well, I wonder if Astro might be able to help. Huh? Astro, you're the only one that can save those kids. You are our last chance, our last hope. Dr. Elephant. No, even the rescue squad failed. We can't risk it. What can you expect this robot to do? He's just a kid. Hmm. Now look, Astro. Get into the field by flying the course, then slow down the coaster and get onto the other course. You can do it. Remember the circus. Just like that, Astro. Remember? Astro, save them, please.
Last bro. Last nice bro. How about a mom and dad for Astro? Sounds like a good idea. Astro. 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 Wow. Hi. Friend. 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 <laughs> <laughs> This is Astro. Dr. Elephant promised to get me a mother and a father, but when I went to see them at the Ministry of Science, I found they had been kidnapped. I couldn't understand who could have done such a thing. I followed their trail and finally found them and their kidnapper. He turned out to be someone I'd known before, but he sure had changed. Tune in next time for Atlas Lives Again.